four exercises, four sets, 20 on, 10 off. So let me quickly demo those. Okay, so exercise one, jump squats. So you're coming down in your squat, jumping. You can either push or the other way I like to do is touching the ground and coming up. Okay, that's exercise one. Exercise two is you're down in a plank. Okay, so again, remember your hands are directly under your shoulders, back is flat, and you're doing shoulder taps, okay? If you have problems with your wrists, you can actually come down onto your elbows and just go on a plank or on your knees in a plank, okay? That's another option. And then the third exercise is an up and down squat. If you need to put a mat for this round, go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna use my towel here for my knees. So again, just because we recently moved, so I don't have access to everything. So up and down squat is like this, okay? You come down on both knees, okay? So you can actually start down here if you want. Then you bring one foot forward, come up, bring the other foot, but don't come completely to standing, okay? It's like this. You just focus on one leg, and then when the time switches to the other 20 seconds, start with your opposite leg. So it's basically just down and up. Okay, that's number three. And then the final one is some abs. So you're gonna come down onto your back. Okay, and we're gonna do bicycle crunches. So knees like this, and you're just gonna come side to side. It's almost like you wanna reach your elbow to the outside of the opposite knee. All right, okay, so let's get ready. I am just going to set the timer and make sure this time that it's only 16 rounds. So we've got 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna start in five with the jump squats. So here's your jump squats. I forgot to give you another option. If you need a low impact option that doesn't involve jumping, just stay stationary and come down into your squats, okay? Just try to make them as quick as possible. So it is only 20 seconds. All right, take your 10 second break, do round two. Hope you guys are feeling good. Heart rate's up, maybe the adrenaline's pumping and you're feeling good. All right, let's go, jump squats. Try and land softly on your knees, right? To take off some of that impact or completely take away the impact by just doing body weight squats. Okay, 10 second break. Round three, coming up. All right, let's go and I'll show you that other option which is touching the ground and reaching up. These are all just different variations. Do what you prefer, 10 seconds, five. All right, one more round, and then we're gonna go down to the ground for those plank taps. Make sure you're breathing throughout. All right, let's go, 20 seconds here. Last set of jump squats. Try and get a little bit of air if you can. Under your feet as you come up. Okay, so again, if you need your mat, grab your mat. So we can use my towel. We're coming down into that plank with the shoulder tap. So make sure your plank form is good. Okay, not like this or like this. And just doing slow and steady. You want to shift as little as possible. It's not a race to get in as many plank taps as you can. Form is more important. So you get the best out of this exercise. Okay, coming down. And again, in the next one, I'll remind you of the modifications, okay? In case it's hurting your wrists. Okay, so up. Okay, so you can do the plank taps if you need a modification. You can come down on your knees and your elbows or if that's too easy, come up. Just make sure you put your belly button in and keep your back flat. All right, let's 
Finishes off five, four, three, two, one. Two more rounds, I think. Uh, I lose count. But at least I have that. So, all right, let's go. Breathing throughout, don't hold your breath. That does not help you. You might start shifting a little bit, as you can see I am. It's just your body getting a little bit tired, but you can push through it. Okay. For the last round for this one, then we'll move on to exercise three. Okay, get ready. Remember your modifications, take them as you need them, okay? seconds. All right, so now we're doing that up and down squat that I told you about. So you can use the mat if you need for some softness on your knees. Just start on your knees. We'll start with our right leg. Okay, so right leg forward, then pushing through that right leg to bring your left leg forward, staying down in that squat, and then coming back. Okay, so never coming to full standing. 10 seconds left. Right foot forward, drive through that foot to help you come up, and then back down. Okay, back down on your knees. This time, we'll start by bringing the left foot forward. All right, let's go, so left foot forward, driving through that, come up. All right, up, driving, and back down. Breathing throughout. Really using that left leg to drive you to almost standing. Okay, 10 seconds and then we're back to the right side. We are more than halfway through this last round. All right, let's go. So up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So continue this, I just wanted to let you know that if you're actually not able to push yourself up, use your hand. So go like this, use your hand here or on your legs to push yourself up, okay? Like, push yourself up if you need that. It takes a while sometimes to get to this level. Okay, left leg, same thing if you need. Use this to help you push yourself up, okay? Come on, we're almost done here. Only one exercise left after this. Got 10 seconds here. All right. Oh, down to your back. We do crunches, okay? All right. So remember what I said? Trying to reach the elbow to the outside of the opposite knee. Keeping, make sure your back is flat on the ground. You don't want a gap there. I'm just breathing through it. It's a slow and controlled motion. You want to just be like this, okay? Just slow and controlled. Okay, take your 10 seconds. I'm breathing hard. All right, let's do this. Really targeting, if you put your hand here, you should feel a tightness right on your abs here. Okay, 10 more seconds. All right, come on, you guys are almost done this workout. You should be so proud of yourselves. It's really only 15 minutes, but because it's that 2010 combo, you really feel like you got a good, good workout in. So some days you just have 15 minutes and that's all you have, and that's okay. Doing something, right? No one ever regretted that. All right, this is it. Let's go, come on. Controlled motions. Make sure you're not pulling at your neck. Almost done. Oh, I 
And that is it. Wow. We did it together. We got through it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for joining me.